this is off the shelf. It looks like a Vespa. It's just kind of a around the town vehicle. Okay, so like a regular vehicle, turn the key. Top speed of 28 miles an hour. It has a range of about 30 or 35 miles on a charge. That this light. light's flashing, says so stand by. We hold down this red button and then this turns solid. This gives us our estimate of how much further we have to go. So this is regular driving mode. Not very impressive, but it'll let you drive all day long. We like to go in rabbit mode. Right. Light turns green, green, you're good to go. So these are your two handbrakes, front and rear. Crank on the throttle, motor goes, let go. Regen makes a stop. And there you go. Uh, see you around the curve. <laughs> this has two modes to drive in. It's got its regular mode, it'll give you better range. And then it's got jackrabbit mode, which accelerates faster and it'll take you to the top speed of 28 pretty quickly. And can you change as you're driving? Um, yeah, you can okay. change as On you're going. Flight. When you're driving this and you let off the throttle, it'll slow itself down. So you don't even have to use the brakes most of the time because it does it itself. And while it does this slowing down with the motor, it will recharge the batteries at the same time. And so it extends your range while helping you stop and <laughs> keeping your brakes from having that wear on them. There's a controller that's on board with this vehicle. So when you get home, you plug it in, few hours later it's ready to go again. This right here is the charger cord. These wires actually go down inside here and attach to the batteries and so it just charges the batteries that way. Panels are DC mm -hmm. and the batteries are DC with the right uh, charge controller and the right voltage you should be able to charge these from a photovoltaic panel yeah, as well. Yeah there's a lot of people that do that. On the grid interactive people are starting to size their system a little bit bigger in anticipation of having electric cars that they're going to recharge in the evening. When the rates are lowest uh, they mm -hmm. make the electricity during the day, get paid the highest rates, time of use, and then recharge at night for right. the lowest rate. Mm -hmm. I actually drive the scooter here to and from work every day. It's seven miles each way for me, and uh, it only takes an hour or so to charge up from what little energy I use, and it costs maybe three cents a mile. It pays for itself very quickly. Maintenance, you don't have to change oil? This thing, no. there's no oil to change. The motor is brushless, so you don't have to change brushes on it. The only things that you would have to do anything to would be change the brake pads. That is several thousand miles before you even have to think about that. And then the batteries, four lead batteries. It takes a while to charge them up. Um, it does take a while, but the chargers that um, come with this vehicle output about 12 amps. And so it only takes a few hours to get them charged. So three hour mm -hmm. charge, okay. Three or four hours, depending on how far you've discharged them. These are lead acid batteries. They need to be replaced every about two to three years. And, and in two or three years, we may have new generation lithium right. ion, yeah. lithium iron. Uh, there's several different technologies mm -hmm. I understand that are out yeah. there. Yeah, those last, they say, 10 years. With the weight reduction, we've actually put some into this of mm -hmm. equivalent capacity. Um, it dropped about 80 pounds off of the total vehicle's weight and it doubled our range. So we went from 30 to 60 mile range because, because of the less weight. So and, it and accelerated can, faster, yeah. handled better, um, and gave us a longer distance to be able to take it. <laughs> in terms of batteries being rated in amp hour capacity? Right, yes. Uh, lead acid, you can, you can use half without damaging the batteries maybe. Mm -hmm. Lithium, you can use 100%, right? Um, that's what they say. It's better to not use the whole 100%, but they'll give you more solid use of the capacity. You can really see that difference when you're writing. And the curve of how many amps it's able to provide over that charge is higher with the lithium? Yeah, lithium remains very stiff. It'll give you a nice long discharge at a constant amperage output, whereas the leads kind of gradually decline. You get monitoring so you don't get stranded. Yeah, this one actually has a display on it that will tell you an estimate that it takes every couple of minutes of how much longer you should be able to drive on the charge. Once it gets to a certain point of being discharged, it has a light that'll flip on and say, hey, you need to start thinking about finding a place to charge me up. As transition goes from diesel and gasoline to all electric, we're talking mm -hmm. the next 10 years or so, mm -hmm. to be able to charge in eight minutes, uh, you know, Altair Nano, that, that's right. their claim that there's some nano 
structure architecture that occurs inside their battery that allows them to take the full charge in just eight minutes. Mm -hmm. That seems like a good feature. That's good and that'll definitely make it very competitive with the gasoline world. You know, you go up to the pump for gas and it takes you a few minutes, you're good to go. But if electric could do the same thing, then range is no longer an issue. Exactly. You can just plug in and go.